I am going to show you how to make one of my favorite trim shake recipes. And all of my trim shakes start with um, some unsweetened almond milk. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up. And I use a Ninja single cup blender. And I'm going to do about 200, probably just shy of 200 milliliters of almond milk. And then the really fun part is I get to put coffee in here. Whenever you can add coffee to something, that's already kind of cool. So I just freshly brewed some coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit in there until my liquid turns kind of brown. So I don't know, just a few ounces of coffee, not a ton of coffee. Then I like to add a raw pasture raised egg, not cage free. That's totally different. Okay, just clean my hands off a little bit from that egg. Then I'm going to add one of our PB Assist Junior Packs. It gives it a little sweetness and of course it's probiotics, so that's always a good thing to add to your trim shake. You can pour that right in. Then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of chai seeds. Oops, that was already open just for a little bit more protein. And you can also do flax seeds because this particular blender will mix all that right up for you. If you're not using one of these strong high power blenders, then you gotta grind the flax seed first. Then I'm adding a scoop of the chocolate trim shake. And I'm going to add a scoop of our Terra greens. So I can get my fruits and vegetables in for the day. And I mean, if you try to eat this without a, a yummy trim shake recipe, you won't like it. <laughs> it's too sweet in my opinion, but um, it's also just very green tasting. And so if you mix it with a good recipe, you can get that in there and it's really good. My body really likes it when I use that every day. I can tell a difference even in 24 hours. Um, I've got some cashew butter. You could also use almond butter. What you really want to avoid is peanut butter because peanut butter actually has neurotoxins. Um, so you want to stick to tree nuts. So I'm going to try to get, this is really hard, but I'm going to try to get a couple of good heaping tablespoons of the almond butter, or excuse me, the cashew butter in here. All right. And then the other ingredient that I put in here that I forgot to grab, that I'll grab here, is vitamin C powder. Um, this is a really good one that I like, and this comes from um, berries. It's not, a, it's not a sorbic acid, it actually comes from a food source. So I'm gonna add a little bit of vitamin C powder. And then I've got hot coffee in here, so the next thing I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to add some ice to this. And that gives it a good texture, as well as cooling down the coffee a little. So I'm just going to chuck in a little bit of ice, and with this type of blender you can use like those big cubes of ice and it'll crush those, okay? So if you have a strong bl a blender you can almost add just about anything in here. So the other part is just to blend it, it's going to be really loud, but if you want to see what it looks like at the end, stick around for that part. I'm going to go ahead and just take that and put it into the Ninja and mix it up.